really? What's wrong, honey? I'm hungry. And the only thing we have in the refrigerator is an apple. I know, honey. I'm sorry. When I get paid at the end of the week, we can get some more food. You know, it still won't be nice food. You barely make enough money. You are the lowest paid employee at your company. I'm sorry. I'm working very hard so that hopefully soon I'll get a promotion. And what am I supposed to do between then? I am tired of being poor. This house is so small and pathetic. I want to live in a mansion with a big kitchen and plenty of food in the refrigerator. I'd like that too. But the most important thing to me is that we have a family that sticks together no matter what, no matter how much money we have. That may be enough for you, but that's not enough for me. You know what? This is your fault. You're supposed to provide for our family. And all you have is this low paying job as an assistant. I'm sorry I didn't come from a nice family, you know that. I've had to work hard to get the job that I've got. Oh, and maybe if you'd worked a little harder, we wouldn't be so poor. I work extra long hours at my company trying to provide for this family. And when I am home, I help out around the house like I'm doing right now. And if we could afford a dishwasher, you wouldn't have to wash the dishes. Everything about this house reminds me how a poor and unhappy I am. And now, your son is unemployed and a loser just like you. I'm embarrassed about this family. Why are you so unhappy, Mom? You should be at a job right now. Why can't you help provide for this family either? You guys are so lazy. Emily, please stop. Come on, son. Let's go see a movie like old times, okay? Oh, great! So, now you're gonna take what little money we have and spend it on a movie. We'll be back later. I am sorry that you are so... Honey? Honey? Hello? Honey? Dad, look. I'm leaving our family to find a better life for myself. Goodbye forever. What, what do we... What are we going to do without mom? Look at me, son. This isn't going to be easy. We're going to get through this. I love you very much. If we stick together, there is nothing we can't get through. I'm going to work hard, and you're going to work hard, and we're going to get through, and we will have a better life. I promise you. Okay? I love you, Dad. You're right. We can get through this together. And what you just said really inspired me. I promise to work hard, too. I love you, son. <laughs> Good luck with the interview, son. Thanks, Dad. Dad? I got the job! Yes! I knew you'd I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Dad. I got the promotion. Yes! Congrats, Dad! This is a really beautiful house. You've done well for yourself, son. Thanks for always being there for me, Dad. My pleasure. Congratulations on the house. <laughs> Chris? Emily? Is that you? 
Hi, son. Hi, Mom. Wow. It's been years. It's been a long time. You know, you guys look great. <laughs> Never thought I'd see you in fancy clothes. Yeah, well, a lot has happened since you've been gone. You know, I worked really hard and eventually got that promotion. And actually, a week ago, the CEO passed away. And I am now the new CEO of my company. <laughs> wow, congratulations. It must have cost a fortune to provide for you and Walter. <laughs> well, I provide for myself now, actually. I was able to get a high-paying job in the city, and I bought my first house and my own car. Wow. Oh, sounds like you both are doing great. I wish I could say the same. How has life been for you? Well, after I left you guys, I went out to find someone who could provide for me, and I found a really wealthy man. He was nice. He provided me with all sorts of expensive presents. And when he asked me to marry him, of course I said yes. I had a beautiful home, lots of money, and the luxury lifestyle I was looking for. But after we got married, he wasn't so nice. Matter of fact, he was pretty mean to me. And he even abused me. Didn't turn out to be the nice guy I thought he was. He met a younger woman. And she wanted to marry him, so he kicked me out without any warning. So I left with nothing, nothing he'd even given me. Now I provide for myself. It's really hard. Wow, we are both very sorry to hear that. I thought having lots of money would provide security. If you don't have family, you don't have anything. Hopefully your life will improve. It sounds like you've learned a lot. Yeah. I have learned a lot, and I learned it the hard way. Well, I better go. I have a job interview for an assistant down the street. We wish you the best. Bye. There's an from well, you. I'm glad we stuck so together, son. You'll always be my dad. Don't you know you're <laughs> like this?